what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back for some more jojo start us start us crusaders episodes five and six is here to grow and your boy needs a haircut <laughs> oh my god um this series is since i started watching Stardust crusaders man you know i'm i'm wilding out i'm wilding out because it's it's just one of those series that, uh, you know, as I said before, plenty of times before, how much I enjoy this series and what I see it as. I think I went in depth a little bit more in, in my last review about how much I'm enjoying this, what I, you know, how I view it, um, as in comparing it to, comparing it to certain things that I, that I watch, um, and I look at this as you know what i'm saying it's like a video game to me you know what i'm saying it's like a video game story it's like we're getting different chap every time a new game comes out you can kind of expect that there's going to be new powers you know what i'm saying there's going to be different kind of things that you can do is the next chapter in the game it's a part two it's a part three you know what i mean so i really do appreciate that you know what i'm saying because i do I do um, watch people play through games on YouTube, games that, you know, I, I might not have the greatest interest in, um, you know, but I still want to see what it's like. I will watch the playthrough, see what the story is like and stuff like that. Like, I'm not big on being spoiled about video games, you know what I'm saying? Like, for, um, story wise, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind, you know watching it before i play it myself does it ruin my experience no it doesn't for me it doesn't for plenty of people out there i know it does it's a little different for everybody it's a little different for everybody and i totally uh, i i understand that like some people they don't want to see anything about the game before it drops before they get their hands on it and stuff like that there's a lot of games that i don't get as soon as they drop there's a lot of games that i don't get as soon as as soon as they come out there's certain games that i do that i um um call of duty god of war of course two games that i get as soon as they launch okay if i don't get anything you get what i'm saying there's other games that i've gotten as soon as they come out in the past of course but for the most part i really don't only the games that i really really do enjoy i will get as soon as they launch but um so yeah, so like I'm I'm not for a highly ant anticipated games and stuff like that. Like it's only for like established stuff that I'm that I'm into. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm I, I haven't played Spider Man yet. It's it's just sitting there in the library. Like I've bought it, but it's just sitting there in the library. I've heard how good it is, but I just don't have the time. You know what I'm saying? Between doing this channel and doing other things in my life, I just don't have the time to play video games like that at the moment. But I am working towards getting to the place where I'll be able to stream it, stream video games and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, not going to waste you guys' time. Um, let's just jump in and pick up where we left off. Um, so, let me remind you guys. You guys are, should already know that memberships are available on the channel. Um, I know for this series, this is not going to be for early on early access but you can still show your boy some love and sign up it's only a dollar two dollars or five dollars okay for the three tiers so go ahead and, and and um if you can support the channel okay thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys for the review all right so that was episodes five and six jojo's bizarre adventure starters crusaders man it's warming up it's getting warm up this show is a comic it's like they animated a comic that's you know what i'm saying there's just so many different elements to jojo's where you can pick out and be like oh that reminds me of that or that reminds me of that it's a it's a living meme it, it, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's so many different aspects of this anime that you can just take and just and just pick out and be like, oh, I really mess with that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really enjoying this series, man. Um, episodes five and six, 
you know if it's two opponents one of them joined the crew of course uh got a got to know the, the french guy i don't remember his name so don't don't ask me okay so i'm pretty sure that all five of them that's in this picture right now as assembled right um you know and as I, and i said this is one of those series that you go, you you're going to watch and you're just going to enjoy it because it's it's just fun it's a fun ride you know what i'm saying and as i said it has a pretty decent story behind it it's more lore based more than anything else like callbacks to certain things historical facts and you know added on to certain things and and, and you know i'm joining into that especially the music that's around you know in the in the opening and the closing like the closing is always a song that you probably know of heard before um which is very unique you know what i'm saying um i think i think it was evangelion that had um uh, what's the name of that song fly me to the moon i think i think that's the name of the song that um sinatra i think it was sinatra that wrote that song i think and performed it I, i'm not I, I don't remember exactly but you guys know what i'm talking about you guys know what i'm talking about well, whatever but anyways um seems like they're going to encounter a lot a lot of people before they get to egypt because i think the e the egypt arc is separate from you know i think the the first part of it is like 20 20 something episodes and then you have the egypt arc um which is like another 20 something episodes um for the starters crusaders um complete arc right so um these stands seems like um is a theme of it based on um tarot cards um or if you want to say tarot tarot cards right i'm not a big fan of 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 psychic stuff i'm not a i'm not a huge fan of it like you know um but if that's where the creator wants to draw things from you know what i'm saying tarot cards i don't go get cards i've seen people go get card um get their palms red and all of this other stuff and i'm just like bruh <laughs> you know these people are all scammers right <laughs> none of us are able to see the future okay we can't see the future stop it <laughs> don't let nobody tell you what your future is and tell tell you that they're in contact with your dead people with your dead um you know family members and and stuff like that if that it, it, listen if that's what you believe in it's fine i'm not here to argue i'm not here to you know what i'm saying i'm not here to argue i'm just telling you what i believe i don't believe in any of that stuff i don't think that's a that stuff is real i think people just find ways to scam people out of their money however and to provide you know what i'm saying some people may say you know it provides comfort or or whatever i think it's fake comfort i think you're just trying to make yourself feel better because at the end of the day you know what i'm saying that's just it, it the fact is it's fake it's been proven to be fake so many different times all these people that come out and say that they're psychic or whatever it's it's just been proven to be fake you know what i'm saying um you know yes we've had dreams we have dreams that you know come true you know what i'm saying i've dreamt stuff that that i've dreamt stuff that has happened you know within days it has happened before you get what i'm saying and that's not to say i didn't get up and be like oh now i'm psychic you get what i'm saying it could just be just a wild guess like stuff like that is just you just can't explain it so why even try or why try to make a career out of it <laughs> you get what i'm saying so if you believe in that stuff you know what i'm saying that's that's you know what I'm saying? That's okay. If that's what bring, brings you comfort, that's fine. I'm not telling you, you know, not to believe in it. I'm just telling you what I believe. Okay. So if you want to jump in and come at me in the comment section, by all means do that. You know what I'm saying? By all means, you know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you what I believe. I don't believe that stuff to be true. Um, I think people are just out here scamming people out of their money um, to get palm readings and tarot cards readings and all this other stuff. Like, I don't believe in that stuff. So, um, so yeah, man, I'm looking forward to see if they're, they're going to Singapore. I wonder what this little girl, what part she's going to play in this, um, you know, cause she's just trying to go to see her dad 
or whatever. So I guess we're going to get to see that. Um, so this story is moving quite along. Um, and I'm enjoying this. There's plenty of, you know, there's plenty of anime that I've watched before that takes on, you know, certain things, certain religious aspects and stuff like that. And I don't have no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem with it. You know, um, this is all like, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, you know, it gets you to understand, you know, different cultures and stuff like that, um, about, you know, their religious practices versus what, you know, we, I, I grew up Christian and I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like for us to believe in certain things and, and all of that, I don't want to start discussing stuff like that on our channel. I've always invited people so, so that if they have like, you know what I'm saying? If, they, if it's something that they want to discuss, we can discuss it like on Discord or, or something like that and DM me. You can talk one-on-one -on -one about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That we can talk about it. We can have a discussion. Uh, I just I just don't think that when it comes on to religious stuff, um, I, I people tend to not have constructive conversations about religion. And that's the reason why I don't really engage in it. Um, politics is a little bit more, is a little bit easier to discuss with people because, um, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easier, but I think religion is just one of those, it, it's, it's, it's a heart to heart conversation and people tend to blow it out of proportion most of the time when they discuss it. And that's why I don't really discuss, like, I don't want to discuss it on the channel because people will take what you're saying out of context and try to make it seem like, oh, so you're just an idiot for believing in something that you believe in. And I have to respect your beliefs as much as you, um, should respect mine. You get what I'm saying? Um, so that's just what it is. Um, so as I said before, that's, this is my belief. So I know that you know, certain cultures, certain shows, certain things that you watch, that is just the, that's just going to be the result of it. You're going to see these things. You're going to see different cultures. You're going to see, um, you know, time travel is one of the things that, you know, um, it's not, it's not possible to time travel. Nobody's ever going to build a time machine. I don't know why we're holding, why people are holding out hope for that. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be any type of time machine ever created, but yet still, it's one of the most fascinating things to me. And that's just what I'm saying. Like, I love any show, anime, whatever that deals with time travel, because I'm always curious to see how will they write this story? You get what I'm saying? Is it going to be the typical, you know what I'm saying? Future, past, past, present, future. Is it going to be the typical, you know, back to the future storyline? If you mess with the past, you, you affect the future. Like, how are you going to do it? You get what I'm saying? Um, to make it intriguing, like I'm watching Dark right now, which is an amazing story. Um, best time travel story I've ever, and I'm just diving into season two. So we're going to come off of here <laughs> and I will catch you guys for the next time. Anyways, leave a like on the video. If you don't like what I had to say, that's fine. Leave your comment in the comment section and I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.